Hello, amateurs, and welcome back to our Six Nations series. And I'm going to be with you throughout the entire Six Nations Championship this year, 2024. So make sure you hit subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any future episodes as we explore all the games, all the selections, all the talking points from what's sure to be an epic championship. And now this one, this episode, this is all about the Ireland team that is going to be picked to play France this coming Friday, the opening game of the championship down in Marseille, the two best teams in the tournament, two of the best teams in the world. And what do we think is going to happen? So kick it off overall, just in terms of the start of play, Ireland were super close to, you know, potentially being world champions. They went out of the quarterfinal at a break of the ball here or there. They definitely had the team that could have won a world cup. So aside from Johnny Sexton, retiring i think it's pretty much same same for them uh they are going to try and continue to play this intricate style fast paced rugby quick ruck speed possession based game and try and wear teams out that's what i expect to say but as i mentioned without johnny without that fulcrum without the guy who's directed them and pushed them around the field for 15 plus years are they going to be able to do it? That is the big question. Are they going to be able to be as effective at the game line as they were when Johnny was playing? Only time will tell. Now, we did a squad uh, video last week. And as far as I can tell, there have been no changes. So Ireland are exactly the same as, the, as they were when the squad got updated. Of course, they benefit from all their players playing in Ireland and therefore didn't play last weekend. So they have got great preparation going into this championship. And we will now look at what I think is going to be the team that plays this coming Friday night. So we'll start with the forwards. And as usual, we're going to start with the players that I feel are nailed on for their selection. we got Porter, Sheehan and Furlong, long established together in the front row, possibly the best front row in the world. Back row, new skipper, Peter Romani. Van der Fleer, who's not been ever present for Leinster so far this season. He's lost his place once or twice, but I think they're going to wrap back his experience. Uh, and in a big game, I think he'll deliver. And obviously, Kalen Doris as well, absolutely outstanding for a number of years now. In the second row, they've got some good players, very good players. And I think there maybe is some question marks here. You've got Ty Byrne. Uh, an outstanding rugby player. Um, but they might decide to go for a heavier second row. Somebody like Joe McCarthy, who's been pulling up trees recently, uh, particularly in the game that I saw when he played against Leicester at Welford Road, when he was rampaging around the field. And uh, they might go with him. They may do, but I, well, we'll see. And then in the number five jersey, you've got Leinster co-captain James Ryan, who's the long-standing holder of that shirt, but also Ian Henderson. And Barrel has played Henderson ahead of Ryan previously. So there's some definitely some decisions to be made in the second row. And of course, the front row and back row are, are super competitive as well. But um, I think that's what they'll go with. This is what I think Farrell will pick. I think he'll go with Byrne. I think he'll go with Ryan. And that just looks like an incredibly dynamic, powerful um, skillful set of forwards that can run all day and have got threat over the ball as well throughout. Outstanding set of players there. Into the backs. And again, let's look at who I think are nailed on starters. Uh, Jameson Gibson Park has been absolutely vital along with Sexton as to how Ireland have played in recent years. James Lowe, likewise, with his pattern ball of a left boot, along with his incredible attacking play by running, running with the ball himself and create space for others. Gary Ringrose now is an absolute bang on starter as is Hugo Keenan and Jordan Lama has come back into form scoring some tries recently. There was a time a few years ago when he looked like he was going to be the next kind of real big thing never came through as such. And he might benefit from the injury to Mac Hansen uh, at 10. There's a there's a three options here, really, but I think it's probably going to be between Jack Crowley and Harry Byrne. And I, not sure myself, asked Elko, our favourite pundit, and Elko believes that Jack Crowley is probably going to get the nod there to start um, in the number 10 jersey. And then at 12, this seems 
weird to say with Bundyaki being so good over recent years, particularly the last sort of year, 18 months, I suppose. But Robbie Henshaw is also playing some incredible rugby at the moment and is, you know, he looks like he's very, very hungry. So uh, tough decisions to be made there as well, I would say. But if I was picking the side, I'd be going with Crowley and Bundyaki. And again, it just looks like an incredible set of backs there. Key being, can Crowley set them free like Sexton used to? Time will tell. On to the bench. And fairly straightforward decisions here, I'd say. Keller, Healy, 125 caps. Finley Bealham looking ever more the international tight head. Scrummaging really well recently. Ian Henderson, British Lion. Jack Conan, British Lion. Just two fantastic players. And I am going to go for Craig Casey over Connor Murray. I just think the time has come now. Um, Connor Murray's been an incredible player for Ireland. But Alco on the pod last week said, you know, he's just making a few errors at the moment. So maybe it's Craig Casey's time. He's looking pacey. He's looking an absolute live wire. And then we've got Harry Byrne and Robbie Henshaw, who has quite often worn the number 23 jersey, I think, if I remember rightly. This is a very good Ireland squad. I think it's going to be an incredible game next weekend. I don't know who to pick. I don't know who to pick. I think just on home advantage, I might go for France, but I really don't know. What do you think? Do you think I've picked the right team? Do you think this is the team that Andy Farrell is going to pick? Do you think they're going to be good enough to beat France? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll come and join you there for a conversation. And while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind and subscribe if you haven't already. And the most important thing, get out and play.